morning, hello, this is Anita Raj, your chemistry mentor, welcoming you for one more session in Amins. In this session, we shall see the various preparation of Amins. Let us start from haloalkanes or alkyl halides. How to prepare Amins from haloalkanes or alkyl halides? Okay. First, let us see how to prepare Amins from haloalkanes or alkyl halides. Okay. See, this method is otherwise called as Hoffman's Ammonolysis method. Third, okay. See what happens here is when the haloalkanes or the alkyl halides are heated with an ethanolic solution of ammonia in a sealed tube at 373 Kelvin, a mixture of primary, secondary and tertiary amines along with a quaternary ammonium salt is obtained. Okay. So this reaction is called as ammonolysis. Mean when a haloalkane, see this is a haloalkane where R represents an alkyl group and X represents a halogen. So it's a haloalkane. When this is heated with ammonia in a sealed container at 373 Kelvin, we get RNH2. RNH2. How, how we will uh, obtain this? See, one hydrogen from this ammonia and when and this halogen combines and we uh, HX will be removed. Okay, HX will be removed and the remaining NH2 will be combining with R and we will be getting RNH2. That is, this is RNH2 is nothing but it's a primary amine, okay. This is a primary amine. See, when this primary amine is again treated with an alkyl halide, what happens? Again, there will be removal of HX, okay. There will be removal of HX. This X and on hydrogen from this primary amine will be removed as HX. And this R will be getting, uh, I mean, uh, uh, this uh, added up to this R, RNH2, okay. So, that we will get a secondary amine. So, R2NH, understood. So, this is a secondary amine, right. Now, again, when this secondary amine is again treated with this alkyl halide, again there will be a removal of HX. That is, this X and H will be removed as HX, okay, HX. And you will be getting a tertiary amine, understood. Tertiary amine, okay, this is called as tertiary amine. See now, when this tertiary amine, when this is again treated with an alkyl halide, we will get an attack that is an quaternary ammonium salt, okay, or 4 nx okay. So, here we will have the plus charge and here we will have the minus, okay. So, this is called as quaternary, okay, quaternary ammonium salt. <coughs> So, quaternary ammonium salt will obtain. Okay. So, this reaction is called as Hoffman's ammonolysis method. Okay. There is there are certain limitations in this method. Okay. Hoffman's method. See, only mixture of amines are obtained. Okay. Primary. See here, when you are treating when you are treating this alkyl halide with ammonia in a sealed container, we'll be getting mixture of amines. Primary amine, secondary amine, tertiary amine. Okay. So, and moreover, the second limitation is. Aryl amines cannot be prepared. We are preparing only alkyl amines, is it not? Aryl amines cannot be prepared since it is a nucleophilic substitution reaction. Because these aryl halides are less susceptible, means they are less affected by nucleophilic substitution reaction. Okay, so aryl amines are not possible. Only alkyl amines are possible. Okay, but if you are making use of excess amount of this ammonia, when excess amount of ammonia, then primary amine will be the major product. And these will be the minor products understood. So, it's possible to get the primary amine in excess when you are making use of excess amount of ammonia. Okay. And if excess amount of this alkyl halide is used, if the excess amount of alkyl halide is used, then it is possible to produce the quaternary ammonium salt as a major product. This product will be the major product understood students. Okay, next method is from cyanides or nitriles. Okay, this method is called as by reduction method. Okay, here both aliphatic and aromatic amines can be easily prepared by the reduction of the corresponding cyanides. Okay, that can be easily prepared by reduction process with the help of either lithium aluminum hydride or we can make use of sodium and ethanol or hydrogen in the presence of renine nickel. So, either, either lithium aluminum can be used or sodium or uh, or what is this alcoholic or sodium or hydrogen in the presence of nickel can be utilized okay so all these three compounds are used for the reduction purpose and by this process it's possible to produce aliphatic and aromatic compounds here we are going to prepare the aliphatic compound okay this is methyl cyanide okay methyl cyanide when this is uh, treated with lithium aluminum hydride okay lithium 
aluminium hydride okay when this is treated with lithium aluminium hydride in the presence of hydrogen okay will get what is, what is the ch3 ch2 nh2 okay this is ethyl amine okay again when this uh, methyl cyanide when it is treated with rhenai nickel okay when it is treated with rhenai nickel again will be able to get this uh, ethyl ethyl amine okay will be able to get ethyl amine okay same product again when it is treated with sodium and ethanol c2h5 oh will be able to get the same product ethyl amine ch3 ch2 nh2 okay so this process that is sodium in the presence of ethanol this process is otherwise called as mendias reaction okay this is this is otherwise called as mendias reaction okay so this is very important you should know right so by using methyl cyanide on reduction in the presence of either lithium aluminum hydride or anion nickel or sodium or in the presence of ethanol it's possible to produce methyl as also ethyl amine understood students next method is from amides okay this method is otherwise called as hoffman's bromamide degradation process what do we mean degradation that we can see here see in this method a primary amide is treated with bromine in the presence of aqueous or ethanolic sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide so when this primary amide is treated with bromine or in the presence of aqueous or ethanolic sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide we will be getting a primary amine this primary amine will be having one carbon atom lesser than that of the primary amide which we are using understood so this is the primary amide okay this is the primary amide this primary amide when it is treated with bromine and sodium hydroxide will be obtaining the product like uh, what is ch3 will be getting ch3 nh2 okay ch3 nh2 ch3 nh2 okay plus then see here we are having four sodium hydro sodium is it not out of this sodium two sodium will be combining with bromine and will be getting sodium bromide nabr 2 nabr plus again we are having two more na is it not this na combines with co and again with this with two o will be getting na2co3 sodium carbonate okay plus will be getting two molecules of water so this is how we are we are getting the product now check the product students see here this is the primary amide this is the product see here we are having only one carbon whereas you check this primary amide you are having two carbon atoms as i told you earlier we will be obtaining a primary amine which is having one carbon atom lesser than that of the amide which we are using since there is a degradation in the number of carbon atoms this method is otherwise called as hoffman's bromamide degradation process and this difference the next method is from the nitro compounds both aliphatic and aromatic amines can be prepared by the reduction of the corresponding nitro compounds okay see by this method it is possible to produce both aliphatic and aromatic amines and this uh, process uh, takes place by reduction okay for this a uh, different combination of uh, compounds that we are using that is tin with hcl or iron with hcl or lithium aluminum hydride or hydrogen in the presence of rhenai nickel or platinum or palladium can be used okay see here we have taken nitromethane see nitromethane is undergoing reduction okay see this nitromethane it's undergoing reduction in the either in the presence of uh, tin and hcl okay or okay or iron in the presence of hcl or we can make use of lithium aluminum hydride or we can make use of hydrogen in the presence of what to say nickel rhenai nickel or platinum or palladium any of these substances can be used okay when you are using this this nitromethane will be getting converted to methyl amine okay ch3 nh2 so this is a simple process and along with this you'll be getting two molecules of water okay understood students so this is methyl amine so meth amine aliphatic amine is able to produce now again i as i told you this aromatic amines can also be produced from the corresponding nitro compounds is it not say let me take uh, nitro benzene okay so this is nitro benzene when this nitro benzene is undergoing uh, reduction in the presence of uh, tin and hcl will be getting aniline okay this nitro no2 group will be getting converted to nh2 okay so this is aniline understood students 
so aniline and again we will be getting two molecules of water okay so this method is one of the most convenient method okay this nitro from preparation of uh, aliphatic and aromatic amines from nitro compound is the most convenient methods for the preparation of aromatic amines because they, these aromatic amines cannot be prepared easily from the corresponding alkyl halides that was the first preparation we have seen is it not from halo alkanes or halo uh, halorins but this method cannot this uh, uh, aromatic amines cannot be prepared from halo amines understood students next method is a very important method that is gabriel thalamate synthesis okay see here we are having three steps okay what happens in the first step a thalamine is first treated with alcoholic potassium hydroxide to obtain potassium thalamine so let me write that how to prepare what is thalamide now see this is thalamide okay so thalamide c double bond o and again here we will be having c double bond o so this is thalamide this thalamide is treated with alcoholic potassium hydroxide when it is treated with alcoholic potassium hydroxide see this uh, hydrogen combines with this oh and will a uh, water molecule will be uh, removed and here we will be getting the potassium salt of thalamide okay so we will be getting the potassium thalamide okay c double bond o here again c double bond o n a in the presence of in the place of hydrogen we will have a potassium okay so we are getting the potassium salt of thalamide now when what is the second uh, step this potassium thalamate thus obtained is then treated with an alkyl halide to get n alkyl thalamide so it is treated with alkyl halide okay now this is treated with alkyl halide so i am going to take a ethyl chloride alkyl chlorohalide and i am going to take a, uh, this ethyl chloride so when this is treated with ethyl chloride this chlorine combines with potassium and kcl will be removed okay kcl will be removed and this c2h5 will be getting added up to this uh, nitrogen okay so we will get uh, so this is the product c double bond o see this is a simple method again n C2H5. Okay, what is the name of this compound? The name of this compound is N alkyl thalamide. Okay, N alkyl thalamide okay? or N ethyl thalamide. So, this is N ethyl thalamide. Ethyl group is attached to the N, N nitrogen. So, N ethyl thalamide. So, next step is hydrolysis of this N alkyl thalamide with NaOH and dilute HCl under pressure yields primary alkyl amine. So, this N ethyl thalamide is again treated with aqueous sodium hydroxide. Okay, first it is treated with NaOH. When it is treated with NaOH, we will be getting the sodium salt of thalic acid. Okay, we will be getting the sodium salt of thalic acid. C double bond O. Again, C double bond O. Again, here O N A. Okay, O N A. So, this is sodium salt of thalic acid okay now again when this is undergoing hydrolysis in the presence of dilute hcl we'll be getting ethylamine okay c2 h5 nh2 plus a thalic acid okay finally we'll be getting thalic acid so this is the pro process so finally we'll be getting ethylamine so ethylamine is the product okay so we'll be getting ethylamine or the primary amine from gabriel thalamate synthesis understood students next is from alcohols how to prepare amines from alcohols so in this method a mixture of vapor of a lower alcohol and ammonia is passed over alumina at about 633 kelvin when a mixture of primary secondary and tertiary amines are applied okay when a mixture of a lower alcohol and uh, ammonia is passed over alumina okay alumina see alumina is al2 O3 at 633 Kelvin. Okay, when it is passed, we get the primary amine CH3 NH2 plus water. Okay, plus water. Now, this primary amine, this is a primary amine. Okay, when this primary amine CH3 NH2 is again treated with an alcohol, this lower alcohol CH3OH in the presence of alumina when it is passed through alumina okay at 633 kelvin 
we'll be getting secondary amine CH3 twice in H. Okay, so this is a secondary amine. Okay, we'll get secondary amine plus water molecule. When this secondary amine CH3 twice NH, when this is treated, when this again combines with again a lower alcohol in the presence of alumina at 633 Kelvin, we'll get the tertiary amine CH3 thrice N. Okay, we'll get the tertiary amine. Understood? So, plus water molecule. So actually, the combination, composition of the final product, okay, mixture of final product mixture depends upon the relative amount of the alcohol and the ammonia we are using. However, the product ratio can be controlled by adjusting the ratio of this alcohol and the ammonia. So, on using excess of ammonia in the initial mixture, the main product will be the primary amine. If you are making use of excess ammonia, it is possible to obtain the primary amine. Okay. Well, fine students, you might have understood all the methods of preparation of amines. I shall meet you with another important topic in a short period. Until then, it's Anitara signing off from you. Thanks for watching.